Hello dear student, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about electromeric effect. So already we have seen inductive effect and mesomeric effect in the last videos. And in this, we will see electromeric effect. Again, it is uh, referred with an polarity, this effect. Like the video and subscribe the channel for more updates. So electromeric effect, it, it is again all these three effects, inductive effect, mesomeric effect and electromeric effect. So these all three, they are having a polarity, uh, the polarity it has been produced. And now here the polarity, in case of an inductive effect, it was produced due to a sigma electrons and difference in electronegativity. And in, in case of an mesomeric effect, it was due to an pi electrons or lone pair of an electrons. And now here the polarity it is produced due to a multiple bonded compound as it has been approached by a reagent. As such compound or at compound or uh, compound does not has a polarity, but when it has been approached by any reagent, uh, it produces a polarity. So double bonded or triple bond has been exposed by an electrophile that is E. Uh, so electrophile it is an electron deficient species. Uh, the two pi electrons which forms the pi bonds are completely transferred to one bond or one atom uh, for an example so this a and b these are the two carbons and as such before there were there was no polarity but where polarity has been produced when this electrophile that is h plus when it comes this electrophile when it is in approaching the at compound and when it approaches the compound, so here there are two bonds, one is uh, sigma and second one is pi. So always a pi bond will break, break because it is a weakest bond compared to a sigma. So pi bond it breaks and it transfers the lone pair of electron on a carbon. So pi bond it is formed due to two pi electrons. right? Uh, so here the concept is that double bond or triple bond. So here it is an double bond and when it has been exposed to an electrophile so h plus it is an electrophile the two pi electrons which forms a pi bond right so there are two pi electrons uh, which forms a pi bond are completely transferred to one atom or the other so this lone pair of electron it will it will get transferred on a carbon and such uh, and it will produce a polarity where the carbon it becomes an electron deficient one a and B, it becomes an electron rich uh, because the lone pair of electron it has been transferred on carbon B. And this polarity, the polarity which has been produced by this electrophile, is said to be an electromeric effect. The curved arrow shows the displacement of an electron pair. So, electron pair it has been transferring as I have shown that a pi bond it is formed due to two electrons of pi electrons and it is transferring the lone pair of electron towards the carbon and this it has been shown by curved arrow and A has lost its uh, electron pair and B has gained this share so as a result A will acquire a positive charge and B it will acquire a negative charge and notice that the arrows point away from the center of the bond towards the atom that gains the electron pair as I have shown that the pi electrons they are been transferred on the carbon B and it has a negative charge. So there will be a negative charge on the carbon B and positive charge on the carbon A. So this was about an electromeric effect. If you are having any doubts, you can comment me in a comment box. I will surely answer it. So thank you for watching the video.